Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2013 here in Bangkok, Thailand. Great pleasure to have with me today Mike Wright, who is the Executive Director of Networks at Telstra in Australia. Mike, welcome. Thank you. The theme of this conference is embracing the digital world. I'm wondering what you see as the biggest opportunities for change in the industry brought about by the digital world. Well, in the opening ceremony, we actually heard about the social and economic benefits that can be brought about by ICT. And in fact, one of the things we were reminded of was not to forget connectivity. And of course, connectivity is the pipe that connects every application we talk about into the core of the network, enables the health services and enables mobile money. And when we think about the change we need to make, the opportunity, it's about quickly moving to new technology. And that technology, in my mind, is really 4G. We have to get away from the 2G world. Too often when I go around the world, we still see connectivity on 2G. We need to think about how do we get new spectrum, how do we refarm spectrum, and how do we take the world into that new frontier that's going to be enabled by the high bandwidth services they want to use. Well, they're great opportunities, of course, but what are the challenges and perhaps the issues and problems we might face in getting to the 4G world? Well, the big challenges and threats, I think, relate to maybe our own reluctance or reticence to, to grab this new technology. We're very comfortable with 2G. Why? Well, it's understandable. It's very cheap, cheap handsets, but they're not very efficient. They don't use spectrum well. So what we as, as operators and regulators need to do is to really embrace the new technology, build the scale, the very scale that 2G got, that's going to drive the cost down and enable this new technology and drive it into parts of the world that today we probably couldn't even imagine they could go to. Well, how is a company like Telstra in such a big country, for example Australia, how are you going about that and how are you adopting and moving towards 4G comfortably? Well, actually, we've been big believers in wireless broadband for a long time. In fact, I haven't used 2G technology for seven years in Australia. We rolled out HSPA Plus very early to 99.3% of the population. That's 2.3 million square kilometres of Australians actually have 3G. They don't need 2G coverage. And as a consequence, we've seen huge growth in wireless broadband adoption. In fact, we have very low penetration of 2G remaining. And more recently, we were one of the world's first to adopt LTE 1800. Now, we currently have over 20% of our base penetrated with 4G. Our 4G traffic is growing at 23% per month. Our 3G traffic is levelling off, and indeed, the growth in 4G traffic is funding the expansion of the 4G footprint. And of course, our customers see the benefits. So they see the lower latency, they use the network, and it enables so many more services and products. So it really is about using the technology. And of course, what comes with the technology is more efficiency. The cost of a bit goes down so we've got to get the balance. And when we think about network rollouts, we need to get away from just looking at the cheapest terminal, but to looking at the whole ecosystem. What does it cost to carry bits, as well as the cost of devices? If we can truly drive scale, I think we can really truly drive LTE in many more parts of the world and really enable this digital future we're talking about here at the conference. And of course, at this event, are people seeking you out to ask what you're doing in Australia? And, and what other benefits are you getting from coming to ITU Telecom World? A lot of people do ask us what we're doing uh, in Australia, and the benefits for me are twofold. One is to come and learn what's going on. In this industry, things are moving so quickly, if you blink, you'll miss something. So it's very much about seeing what the next new thing is so you can take advantage of it and get the opportunity. But the other reason I come is to have influence. And uh, more recently, we've uh, acquired new spectrum, what's called the APT700 spectrum band. And I truly believe this is an enormous enabler of 4G for a large part of the world. Uh, whether it's Asia Pacific alone or Latin America and indeed we believe parts of Europe may adopt parts of the band and if we can do that we can get global scale. So what I would like to do while I'm here as well is to tell that story to get people to understand the opportunity so that we can all get on board and, and really change the world. Well I think as a customer we're probably all hoping we can roam more easily as well on 4G in the future and that would be one way to do it I'm sure. It absolutely would be. Mike, thank you for being with me today. Thank you for having me.